no matter what I'm giving you, money management is important. So I'll give you some tidbits that can change uh, uh, your trading. Uh, remember, the tools helps the, to align and answer the questions to trade or not to trade, to look for good trade if you have higher than 50% probability of success, to keep runners or not, to increase your sizes or not, to know where to enter, where to exit, by being really good at your calculator synergy with the red institutional zones, the major zones, and the power trend box entry and exit. By the way, if you are new on the power trend box, this is this at the top, and it gives you signals, right? Now, you have visual signals. It's like a green light, red light, but blue buy, you know, blue net buyers, blue buy, right? Long term. Uh, uh, box for the power trend box or short term for day trading. Now, you can click here on your alarm and you can click on the plus sign. You can go down here on the conditions and look for the probability trend box. And then each time the probability trend box will change on meta, whether it's from up to sideways, whether short term, long term, boom. See, it says long term, short term, but long term because that's all I have right now, create the condition and it will ring, it will ring. Same here, if you go for the day trading, like especially on NASDAQ, it's fighting right now. I go here, short term, long term, plus sign. I drop the conditions, I go to the probability power trend box, change that, create the alarm, and it will ring all the time. Especially if you have an iPhone, you can put the power trend box or the power probability indicators on your uh, trading view on your iPhone, which I do. And on the go, I can quickly hear, hear the, the alarm. And also I can look quickly on my iPhone, what's going on when I play golf, when I go shooting, you know, when I do whatever I have to do with my life, uh, it helps me to be more free on the go. And I urge you guys to do a lot of uh, 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 alerts. If you want to really improve your trading, you really want to be patient from point A to point B. Most traders are not patient people. So what do you do? Well, look, I look here, 41.76, I go here, I say, okay, one alarm at 41.76 because it's a great place to re-enter the show. So I say, okay, boom, here is one. Then I go here, 41.18, you know, like this morning, and it was a great place to enter your loan, and you would have come here. So you don't even have to um, uh, stare on the screen all day long. All you have to do is be very tactical and smart about your trading, you know, 4118, you know, and go with your day, uh, uh, do other businesses or what. When this edge uh, rings or this edge rings, I look at it, I place a trade, I add into my winners, I get out of my losers, and that's it. This is that, that that's pretty much. I, I look at confirmation also. If there's fuel uh, under the hood with the net seller, net seller, net seller, net seller, and then the net buyers, net buyers, net buyer institutional coming here. Don't forget this power volume indicator is super powerful, especially if you trade. ES, MES, SPY, and SPX, okay? Now, as I said, no matter what, unless you have a robot that trades everything for you, you need good room, uh, risk management rules, right? And trading is out, you know? You need to monitor some matrix that are going to make you successful. So here are a couple of matrix that I personally uh, uh, track all the time. Uh, with my trading, I look at how many trades I do for the day, how many winning trades I have, how many losing trades I have. That will give you the win-lose ratio on your trades. Usually, you can even make money with a 30 to a 45% win ratio because the most important, it's like any business, is cash flow. Can you finish the day with an average win trade here of $200 versus an average lose trade that is two to one, three to one. If you can do one, two to one, three to one, five to one space using the power trading in, uh, indicator. And when you use the power indicators and looking for space, you are looking for your stop loss, 
to your target. And if it's two to one, three to one, five to one, you usually will finish the day okay, guys. Okay. Even if you have a win ratio that is not great. Uh, let me see if I have another example on here. Um, no. So let me show you here why also you need to be very careful of over trading. If you re if you lose, let's change the color and let's do some risk management because risk management is everything and most traders don't care about risk management but I've done this for 28 years and I know what's going to blow you out and get you out of the business if you lose 50 percent of your account it will take you 100 percent uh, rate of return to come back at break even so you start with 10k you lose 5k now you are at 5k well to go from 5k back at the 10k guess what you need 100% return on your money. It's it's very hard to do 100% return on your money unless you gamble a lot of options and you take the risk. Most of the time, traders that do that, they blow up their account. They come here, right? They want to revenge trade. So you have to methodically grow your account. Let me show you the power of small size. This is a guy that trades small size. As you can see, it dips a little bit, but comes back at break even well, fairly fast here. It's fairly straight. That's the dude here that gambled with a lot of big sizes, too big of a size for his account. Look at the angle. Look at the angle of separation. It will take this guy who has big size a lot more time to come back at break even, whereas the guy who started with small size, the trade didn't work, will come at least at the same time at the break even and guess what after that you can take big sizes and add to your winner and add to your winner this chart is worth a million dollars guys when you understand your chart you understand the importance of trading small sizes for your account until you are proven right into the trade and the trade proves you right okay and it's very very important also what i've noticed by research is unless you have two to one or three to one risk ratio a two to one risk ratio, you are going to have barely a break even trade if you count commissions. So you got to have two to one to three to one risk ratio to be a successful trader. And even sometimes here, like here, that day, that particular day, I had a terrible, terrible win ratio. I had 25 win ratio, 75% lose ratio. I did 16 trades, four losers, uh, four winners, 12 losers. But look what happened. My average win was killing it. $578 versus the average loss of 100. I was winning five times more money than I was losing money. I kill it by catching up a long trade that I was able to hold properly, you know, from point A to point B. And how do you create trade like this is by looking at your probability power indicators. And you look here, like this morning, I'll give you a perfect example. Oh, CPI comes out, they are pumping at 100% chance of a shot with the institutional resistance. Now at 41.75, I can take a, a short at 41.75 with a stop loss at 41.80, five points, I risk five points, but I know that the target could be either this edge at 41.40 or this edge at 41.18, which by the way, that's where they went to the 41.18. Now you see the distance from here to here, this is 35 points to the 40 and to the 75 is roughly 60 points minus two is 58 points. So look my, my risk ratio, I risk five points, 58 points, it's a 10 to one risk ratio. And the other one, five to 35 is a seven to one risk ratio. That, that's how you make money in day trading. As long as you have a two to one, a three to one, a five to one, a seven to one risk ratio, guys, from your support resistance with the tools, from the edge of the calculator, of the uh, also using the institutional red dashes, which are the most powerful one, you have a really nice chance to make money and also try to not counter trend the uh, short term and long term uh, 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 power trend indicator. Uh, most of the time, if you counter the short term power trend indicator, you lose money. The only time I'll, I'll try 
to cattle trend uh, is if I have a 100% chance of success here and here, meaning that I am in the edge and the market has been extended for a long time. If, if, if that happens like this morning, I'll try it, but I'll try it with small sizes because I'm not a big fan. I am a, of countering the uh, short term trend here. You know, it does not pay to go counter trend this thing, right? I'm telling you, you'll get smacked or you'll get squeezed like the guys who were taking the shot this morning. But the shot this morning was kind of predictable. Went to the institutional zone, came back to the institutional zone, broke the institutional zone and the previous day opened and went all the way down to the 100% buy probability. And that's it, it was game over. 